Hi there, welcome to another Adobe Illustrator tutorial. This is Andre from Dagobi. In this tutorial I would like to show you how to create brushes in Adobe Illustrator. I made this tutorial two years ago, but without explanations, and my Illustrator version was in German. Many people ask me, can you upload this tutorial in English? I hope you like it. So first create a new document. Let's call it brushes. For the profile, choose Print, Size A4, Orientation, click on Landscape, and for the Color Mode, choose RGB, click OK. OK, for my first brush, please choose the Polygon tool, and now click on your artboard, and Set the sides to 6 and click OK. So now change the color, fill is black, and for the stroke choose this gray and set the stroke white to 3 point. OK, so now go to Effects, Distort and Transform, and choose and load and now enable the preview and move this to 66% and click OK. So the next thing is go to the stroke panel and change the corner to round join. OK, this is my first brush. For the second brush, please choose again this Polygon tool and now click on your artboard and this time change the size to 5, click OK and now go again to Effect, Distort and Transform and Poker and Bloat and now Change this to 70%. So now choose the direct selection tool and now you can move this anchor point to deform this flower. Okay. This is my second brush. Okay, the next thing what I'm going to do is create brushes from my flowers. Please select the flowers and now go to Objects and click on Expand Appearance. And next go to Objects, Path and click on Outline Stroke. Okay, I start with this flower. First create Copy. So now when you create your brushes from these shapes, so the size of your basic shape is one point when you draw with the paintbrush tool. Go to brushes, click on new brush, choose scatter brush and click OK and change the colorization method to tints. So now choose the paintbrush tool and for the stroke, for example, red color and create a new line. So you can see it's one point and this is the same size. But I like it to create my brushes with very small size. So scale this shape very small and go again to brushes panel, click new brush, scatter brush, tints, and now when you draw with the paintbrush tool and this new brush so you can see this is one point and has the same size as a small flower okay i do it again i delete this shapes and delete this two brushes so now select both flowers Make a copy, 
and scale it very small. So first I start this new brush, scatter brush and the second flower make the same. Okay, now start with a paintbrush tool and red color for the stroke and now create a new line and now change, uh, choose the second flower. So the next step is select this line. Now make a double click on your first flower and now I'm going to change this to random and now change the spacing a little bit scatter Okay, and make the same, apply the strokes and make the same with the second line. Make a double click on your second brush. Change all this to random. Okay, you can change the size to two points. Okay, my third brush is a leaf. It's very simple. Please choose the ellipse tool and create new oval. Change the color uh, black for the fill and none for the stroke. So first choose the direct selection tool and select this right point. Now go and convert it to um, corner. Click on this button. Zoom in. Now select this point and now hold the Alt key and move this handle and now move this. Select these two points and move this to the left. And if you like, you can drag this handle and this. Okay. So now I'm going to create a brush from this leaf. Okay, I shrink this leaf a little bit. So now make a copy and now scale this very small. Now go to the brushes panel and click on new brush. This time choose art brush and change the colorization method to tints. Okay, next choose the paintbrush tool. This time choose black for the stroke and now create a line. You can change the size.
OK. So for my next brush, choose a ellipse tool and create a new oval like this. Change the color to black fill and none stroke. So now select only this right point and move it to the right. So now choose the paintbrush tool or scale it a little bit. Okay, so choose the paintbrush tool and choose this brush. Change the size to two point and now create a new line. Move this point a little bit. So now select both lines and go to Objects and click on Expand Appearance. So now hold the Alt key and make a copy, move it to the right. So now choose the Free Transform tool and shrink this. Hold the Alt and the Shift key. So now rotate this a little bit. So next choose the blend tool and now click first on this leaf and second on this leaf. Now go to objects, blend, blend options and change this to specified steps and for example 14 steps ok and make the same with these two leaves blend options specified steps and 14 steps and click ok so and last Create a little leaf here. Select these two leaves and make this a little bit smaller, shrink this. OK, now select all these shapes and now go to Objects. First click on uh, Blend, click on Expand and now go again to Objects and click on Expand Appearance. So, and now create a brush from these shapes shrink this and now go to brushes new brush choose art brush ok and change the colorization method to tints and now go and enable the scale proportionately by the brush scale options and click ok So here's an example with these brushes. So create a circle. Now next select these two points and click on this button, cut path as selected anchor points. And now 
select first this left side and click on this brush and now this so you can transform this flip vertical so next choose this at anchor point tool and now click here and here now select these two points and click on remove selected anchor points so this is an example with this brush you can change this color for example to red Thanks for watching. If you liked this tutorial, please press thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you want to see more of my tutorials, please subscribe my channel. Hope to see you soon.